women would really be mad at you because you have a purpose. You know what I'm saying? Because you have something, you have motion or you have something going on or you're curating something or you're creating something. All right, y'all. So I, Josh, back at it with another video. Make sure y'all check out my links, my workout consultation, my Discord. Make sure you like the video. Share the video, too. Y'all been having me share my video, so I appreciate that. Here come the dogs. But um, basically what I really want to talk about was I really want to talk about, like, rejecting people in a sense. Like, almost pretty much like rejecting women or, you know what I'm saying, dating and everything like that while you're on body game. And <laughs> to let you guys know, women would really be mad at you because you have a purpose you know what i'm saying because you have something you have motion or you have something going on or you're curating something or you're creating something i want y'all to understand bro i have my hands in a lot of things right so it's just the fact of i understand people time energy attention will be taken away if I invest into just every person I meet, every woman I meet, whatever. It's just like, it just, the, it's not enough time to just be investing into everything. And I just want you guys to order, I mean, understand, is that the grass isn't greener on the other side, it's green where you water it at. And I'm just letting you guys know, because this has happened to me like, all the time but it's it's just that i have a bigger purpose than dating i have a bigger purpose i have a bigger mission than to hang out with somebody i have a bigger mission i have a bigger purpose i have a bigger voice than to just waste my time or not even waste to just spend my time frivolously like just to just be giving it out just because a person wants it and i really have to understand this on body game when you do work on your body, when you are into the gym, it starts to click. Like, I don't know what it is, but when you're lifting weights, I guess you're putting wear and tear in your body. You start to understand that, hey, if I don't come back to this place, my muscles are not going to look as good as this pump I got. You know what I'm saying? It's not going to be as strong. You feel me? And it's like you start to understand, like, wow, I really have to set time for the gym. Like, I really have to be like, even if I want to go or I don't want to go. I have to go because if I don't, if I don't put it at the time into the gym, my body is not going to be where I want it to be. And that's not good for anybody because guess what? You got to wake up and you got to have that body. You know what I'm saying? You got to put on your body. You got the same body. So it's like you have to really sculpt and take time out and invest into your body. And it's the same thing I understand with like with women and or just spending time with people. It's like, yes, I, I could party. Yes, I could pull. You know, so I could talk to this girl, do this, do this. But it's just like, bro, one thing I understand, like women, relationships or just friendships, folks, half of the time is not even going to invest into your aspiration, your dreams. That's one. So that's a possibility that you can invest into this person and you may not get a reciprocal action back. You know, so that person may not pour into you. And that's why I probably this is just like. I'm pouring into a maybe, and I, I just can't do that. And that's why I want you guys to understand that when you really get mad and talk bad about you, you know what I'm saying, or really be upset that you won't date them, or you know what I'm saying, you won't talk to them, or you won't focus on a relationship. And it's just like, that's not my mission right now. My mission or my, the reason why I wake up and everything or my talent, my gifts is not just for dating or creating, you know what I'm saying, a family or whatever. Like, that. like I just never agree with that and i just want i just want you guys to understand it like when you start going to the gym we start working out it starts to click i'd be like man i need to show up for for example i need to show up for here for you guys i need to show up for a video i need to put my time into that not even just for the fact that it's going to benefit me and help me in the long run but it's just like no i have a message like you guys are consuming my content so if i'm not there what are you consuming you know what i mean it's almost like i don't want you guys to be easily distracted by because there's so many different types of social medias there's so many different types of apps and it's like man no i gotta get this message out i know this is going to help a person even if they watch it 
at least they heard what I said. You know what I'm saying? They can implement it. They can think about it. They can process it. But I'm just telling tell you guys is that when you are working on yourself, you have a purpose. When you have a bigger mission, it's just that you become attracted. You become attractive in a sense because people are understanding that that relationship or that that number, that girl's number, is not important. You know what I'm saying? Like it's just not. Or you know, you meeting with them, or you know, say you guys going out, going. To, it's like you start to realize it's not even that serious. It's not even that serious, and it's just like I started understanding people like, well, you know, this this person will be perfect for you after this girl. Okay, you can talk to her. Okay, yeah, y'all be. And it's just like no. When you start working on yourself, it becomes so addicting because it's like, bro, I, my I'm not. I got other shit to do. Like I got other things to do. First is the body. First is like. You know, putting God first, everything, but it's just that I have other gifts, other talents, and it's like I have to put that my time into that because as a man, you know, nobody's obligated to do so. You understand that nobody's, if you don't do it, it's not going to get done. Like, that's your responsibility. This is like you have to understand that people will be upset if not sabotage, if not distance themselves from you because it's just that they want to be the center of attention of your life and it's just like no i don't want that shit right now like i don't have the energy the manpower right now because it's like i have to get this out if i know i know i'm gonna regret it let's say a couple years from now now it's like bro i knew i had this burning desire to do this thing to get my message out there and i didn't do it I have to live with that. I have to live with me perhaps always having somebody telling me when I can go on vacation, having somebody telling me when I can do this, when I got when I got to be here, when I got to get up, when I got to leave. It's just like, bro, no. I know for a fact that my messages and my teachings are just for me educating, for me speaking is enough. And I have to use that because I feel as though if I do not use this energy in a productive way, God's just going to get at somebody else, give the opportunity to somebody else. It's just like, if I know I'm talented, if I know I have this burning desire and drive to work on body, work out, you know, to teach, whatever it might be, I cannot take that for granted. You know what I mean? It's just like people just want you to just set time out. And it's like, I understand that. But this comes first. And I just want you guys to understand you have to put your your body first, for an example, for body game. But just put things that are going to be evergreen content in a sense or evergreen pieces in your life that are, are always going to continue to grow. Because if not, if you don't invest in that, the next year, all that time you spent is not going to help you. For your life, you know what I'm saying it's not gonna help you grow, and it's just like I started understanding when I was going to the gym, like my attention became more valuable. But it's just like I started growing as a person, I started going physically, and people started to recognize and take notice. But it's not something I can just stop and just think about. I have to keep being consistent, I have to be consistent, and I have to put time in and keep going. Because every day is a new opportunity and I have to take that opportunity and put the time into the things that are going to make me a better person. And that's what I'm saying. It's like, yes, I may see, it may be attractive women, it may be a pretty girl, it may be an opportunity for that. But it's just it's like, bro, I'm going to really regret me not putting the time into things that are going to grow me as a person. You know what I'm saying? When I'm building and I'm, when I'm constructing, I don't have time to worry you know what I'm saying? i don't have time to be infatuated or upset like it's like i really have to put that time into something productive because we do not have enough time here you know what i'm saying on the, on the earth planet it's like you have to focus because you're going to regret if you don't do that thing you're going to regret it man it's like not saying relationships are always going to be there but you should, as a man i feel like you shouldn't be looking for a relationship or a person to put so much into you that you end up growing. You should be able to grow by yourself and then to attract what you need to attract. And that's just how I feel. That's just how I think. Cause I'm just like, no, I'm not putting my trust into you being able to turn me into a better person per se, or you know saying this relationship, this is going to benefit my life. in such a great, it's like, no, I need to have this motion going on 
and then figure everything else out later. Because it's like, if I don't have my ducks in a row, if I don't have my time spent put into things that give me joy, I'm not going to be fulfilled. And I'm chasing fulfillment more than, more so than gratif- instant gratification. You know what I'm saying? I'm just, I just can't relate to that. I can't keep uh, thinking that way. And I feel like going to the gym definitely helped me out with that, with consistency and even just going to the gym, understand going to the gym, then creating a YouTube channel, like going and creating more videos. It's like, it's like a whole mindset shift because you understand things compound. And then if your body is changing the way it is at a good rate, why would you stop that? You know what I'm saying? Almost get off the train and go to another destination and you're so close or you're already pretty much there. It's like, you have to be understand. You have to understand people will derail you. You have to focus on what you want out of life because you cannot just keep jumping off the train to get to different destinations and expect yourself to be successful. You have to focus and water the grass where you are now. You can't look at everything as an opportunity. It's like, no, this is what I want. This is what I'm going to do. And this is how it's going to be. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's just like, you have to be centered. And that's what I'm saying. I think that working out, it just centers you. It's like, no, this is what is going to happen. This is what I'm growing. And this is where we're moving forward to. So just want to let you guys know that, like, do not be derailed by the attention of somebody for a possibility of something working out. No, we're not doing that. So that's the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? We make these videos. And yeah, that's the end of the video. Thank you.